Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm back with another Laravel Plus U tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can submit your form in Laravel. So in my previous video, I've shown you how you can apply validations in Laravel. So today we will submit that form into database. So now let's get started with today's video. So that's the form I'm using in this series. So now let me just click on submit and here you can see network tab it's giving validations errors so these i have added in my previous video so before moving forward let me show you database so here you can see contact table name email message phone and created so i'll be using this table to store my data now let me show you code in api.php you can see our form is going to contact controller and store function so in store function you can see contact request is used where we have added all our validations so these validations will be applied to your form and after that it will go to store function back and here you can see i have just printed request all so i'll be changing that to request with validated this will give me which all fields are validated so now let's hold validated data into a variable let's say request data and now we will be storing it into contact table so for that use contact model so with model you can use create or insert function it depends on your requirement so here i'm just going to use insert and i'm just going to pass this request data now let's hold the response of insert into a variable let's say result so now let's check if it's inserted properly or not so let's write if result inside that i'll be returning response with success or error or message and status so here i'll be returning response and after that write json inside json i'll be passing message data and like a normal api response so now write status and for success it will be 200 and with message write let's say contact successfully saved and data right now I'm going to send blank as is the insert not our list or detail and in else I'll be passing similar return response with the status here will be 422 that is uh, like unprocessable entity and the message will be like unable to let's say save contact and the uh, data also empty so now one more thing I need to add uh, that is in contact model I need to give table name as it is not created using migrations I have just created directly in table so that's why I need to define it if table name I have created like contacts so then no need to even define in model it will already be like Laravel will insert into that thing now let's go and check in browser so write name email phone and message and click on submit so now you can see contact successfully saved now let's go to DB and submit here you can see it's inserted you can see name email and all fields are inserted so that's all in this video i have created it a very short video just to insert into database nothing else so in my next video i'll show you how you can handle server side validation errors into your axios in view so that's all in this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.